I have here the 2014 Mazzoni Home Ranch, which is a wine we've been making since 1996, of uh, buying and grapes from the Altranti family, who's been farming it since the, the 90s, early 90s. 2014 was a, a dry growing season for these old vines. Uh, growing in alluvial soils uh, of the northern part of Sonoma County. Um, this vineyard is broken into roughly eight different parcels, some that are heavy in Zin as the fuel blend, and others that are heavy in mixed uh, Carignan and, and other mixed blacks. Um, we ferment them all separately, and generally we'll do a, a selection right after everything's pressed off and finishing malolactic, we can go through and taste and find which lots really have the best character of that site. Uh, this year we put together the blend at 62% Zin, 36% Carignan, and 2% Petite Syrah. And because of how dry the year was, the grapes did ripen quite well. Uh, we hit 14.6 alcohol. Which you can tell on the nose, just really intense, beautiful fruit of classic old vine Zinfandel feel blend. The Carignan really lifts the nose. It gives it a nice penetrating kind of cherry fruit. And then some underlying kind of uh, racy mint and herbal notes. Mm. And on the palate, just enters in with a lot of influence of Carignan. You could get that really nice bright red fruit and then the, the juicy acidity that that variety has. Carignan, the magic of Carignan is, is that it can ripen and retain all of its natural acidity, which is something that really complements Zinfandel because then when it ripens, it will generally lose acidity. And so the two, when they're blended together, will make a really a wonderful wine with a lot of liveliness and, and fresh flavors. Uh, it's a supple wine as well. The tannins from this vineyard ten, can sometimes be quite austere, but in 14, we really held back on pump overs and really tried to keep this wine uh, more elegant and more uh, kind of fruit forward and balanced. So the maceration times for most of the fermenters were between six to seven days before pressing. And with that, it really kept the tannins from becoming too pronounced. And because it's been now in bottle for, gosh, almost two years, uh, it has had a, t a chance for the tannins to really soften and resolve. So at this point, I mean, the idea of our advanced tasting program is, is to make wines that we can sit on and age here at the winery release when they really have hit their, their perfect drinking window. And this is the case of this wine right now. It's, it's really shown at its best. Yeah, it's extremely drinkable. The tannins are really nicely integrated, surrounded by all that beautiful bramble fruit. Uh, it's enjoyable now and, and I hope you enjoy it.